when she plays hard to get, do this to destroy her ego. In this video, I'm going to give you the secrets, the plan on what to do when a woman plays hard to get so her ego can be shattered. Unfortunately, guys, we're living in a day and age where average women don't want average men. Even higher quality men have to make sure they have everything dialed in and a woman might still try to make it seem like he ain't good enough. We gotta learn how to break these girls' egos, man. Let women come back to reality, not in a toxic, angry way, but bring her back to earth. Like, hey, baby, let's not forget who the fuck I am. I know them simps in your DMs making you feel good, but let, let me get you right back right, because I'm that dude, all right? So let's pay attention to the entire video, guys. This is how you destroy a woman's ego. First thing you must do is to act unbothered. When a woman is playing hard to get, when a woman is acting like she ain't really feeling you like that, the worst thing you want to do is to act like it affects you. She wants you to be affected. This is why I keep telling you motherfuckers that rejection means absolutely nothing. A lot of the times, guys, a woman might, she might act a certain way, act like she's disinterested, but really be feeling you just to see how you react. If you act butthurt, angry, upset, here she goes. She's like, oh, you're not the guy for me. Some of, sometimes, guys, it's a test. It's legit a test when a woman is plain hard to get, right? I've had some girls that I've slept with who, you know, when we either mashed or I got a number or something, they played the game of not texting me as often or not trying to seem too engaged. And then when I didn't get bothered by it, when I didn't say, hey, why are you acting like this? I noticed an immediate change in behavior. When you are a guy that has worked on several, all areas of your life, right? You look good, you're fit, you got shit going on for yourself. Women want to test your confidence. Women are incredibly attracted to confidence. So she wants to make sure that that confidence you got is actually real. That's why it's so important to act unbothered. This does not mean you accept disrespect. This does not mean you double text. This does not mean you start chasing and pursuing. That's not what the fuck I mean. I mean act unbothered. If I go up to a girl and I'm talking to her and she doesn't want to give me her number, I'm not screaming and yelling at her, her face and telling her that she's a bitch and she's blah, blah, blah. Okay, no problem. Have a nice day. If I match with a girl, you know, I send a message, she sends a message and, you know, she's starting giving me these one word answers. For the most part, I just don't respond. The, the way I act unbothered is to stop fucking talking to you. And a lot of women change their behavior ASAP. They love that shit. When you, oh, hold up, hold up. My bad. I was playing the game with the wrong person. I thought you was, I thought you was one of these fucking losing motherfuckers. I'm sorry. I misread you. Yeah, you better fucking believe you misread me. Play them fucking games with me if you think so. Play them games with me. Let me show you how quickly I leave your ass on delivery. That's what I mean by unbothered. I'm not affected by your, your, your misbehavior. I'm not affected by your lack of interest. I just don't fuck with you. All right. I'm not screaming and yelling and trying to get you to change your mind. What I used to do in the past, guys, I would try to get women to change their mind. I would be like, yo, why you acting like this? Now nah, I don't explain. I don't ask for no explanation. I don't explain myself. I don't try to convince a goddamn thing. That's my way of acting on about it. Let me show you how many girls want me. I, my actions going to speak louder than words. Play these fucking games if you want to. Always have that mindset that I can replace you. That's what women want. It's not toxic, it's reality. Women want a man that can replace them. So when you're when you're so affected by how she's acting, right? When you get angry and upset and you just don't, you just don't leave her be, she's like, oh, he don't really got options like that. This confidence that he thinks he has is, is a facade. Women are constantly trying to see if the confidence that you have is fake. Cause a lot of motherfuckers fake their confidence guys a lot of guys they go make a bunch of money and now they think that they're the man but in reality they haven't done the self-work to feel better about themselves they have compensated monk mode semen retention all this stupid shit, and they haven't actually worked on their mentality so women can see right through their ass when you act unbothered she's like hold up my bad <laughs> you will see a change in behavior quickly number two you must withdraw all attention i kind of alluded to this by you know i telling you to ignore her attention does not mean not pursuing and that's it you motherfuckers think that hey if i ain't keep begging her to go out with me i'm not showing her attention right but i still like all her pictures i still looking at her stories that's still a form of attention please understand that your currency in dating is your attention and no matter how little you think it might be women count that as you giving them some attention 
Why do you think there are so many attention whores today? So many women posting half naked on the internet for free validation. So many women looking at you but have no interest in you. So many women baiting you for attention. The more well-rounded you are as a man, the better your game has to be. When women know you got your shit together, I'm gonna go on a little tangent here. When women know you got your shit together, guys, they are gonna go above and beyond to get your attention. The problems I'm facing with women now, guys, is I already got girls that want me, but then the girls who are who they 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 see my value. What they want to do is they want to bait me for attention. So they'll act interested, like my pictures, comment on my stories. They're trying to get me to give them free attention. Whether that be at the gym, staring at me, working out next to me, they doing everything. And you got to understand that if you fall for that shit, you're giving them attention. Especially when the woman pulls back. When she's playing hard to get, guys, a lot of the times she will come back and start trying to act interested all to get your validation. All to say, hey, I know I don't really want you, but let me see if you still want me. Let me give me a fucking ego boost, motherfucker. Make me feel good about myself. That's what a lot of women do, guys. So if you notice bad behavior, if you notice a woman not following your program, she should not even exist to you. I'm not watching your stories. I'm not like, listen, guys, I don't even follow girls on Instagram. If you are still following girls on Instagram, watching their stories, liking their shit, you're part of the fucking problem. You're literally part of the problem. You are literally part of the problem. You are the reason why women think their egos are so hot. You're the reason I'm making this fucking video. Women that you don't, that don't even know you, that are not fucking you, you're watching their stories, following them, liking their pictures like a fucking loser. <laughs> she don't even follow your lame ass back and you following her. Can you think about how pathetic that is, bro? You following a fucking girl that don't even follow you back, you fucking follower. Shit is sad, man. Shit is sad. So that is a form of attention. I don't follow girls. I don't watch their stories. I don't like none of their shit because you are not you you're not getting free attention from me. My attention costs because I understand that, that is my currency. My attention costs the same way she doesn't want to fuck anybody, right? But well, hold up, these but these girls out here fucking anything. Let me let me <laughs> let me rephrase that. She's at least she still want to fuck the guy she wants, right? Women are still selective to a certain degree of who they let hit. To a certain degree, it's either got to be some emotional attachment, she see a future, he played a game right. The same way you not running down the streets letting every dude get in your pussy, I ain't giving you my free attention. Women reserve the right to, to be selective with sex. It's their womb, it's their body, no problem. I reserve the right to be selective with who I give my attention to. It's my attention, it's my currency. You don't get free attention from me. The moment you start pulling back, playing hard to get, I'm out. Think it's a fucking game. Listen, bro, I'm all about actions, man. Fuck all this shit. FedEx Field is 2024. Actions speak louder than words. I ain't explaining. I ain't begging. I'm not convincing the goddamn thing. Think is a fucking game. That's my mentality this year. Play these stupid ass games with me. Watch how quickly I'm gone. And girls be running back. They, the moment they see me, whoo, I'm out. You play games, whew, I'm out. Or I give you the out. I'm always telling girls they can leave. You're not held a prisoner fucking with me. If you don't want to fuck with me, no problem. Here's the door. I'm always giving women an out because I'm okay by myself. I'm happy by myself. I'm an only child. I grew up by myself. I don't need a girl in my life. I would love a companionship of a girl who adds and brings to my life. Sure, that is wonderful. But I don't need the motherfucker. Get out this need for companionship. That's why women treat you like this. That's why they keep playing fucking hard to get because they feel like you need it. Women want a man that that's, oh, okay, I'll, tell, I, I'll be all right. That's what they want because he's in abundance. She wants a man that doesn't need her because that signals that he has more to offer. He has better options. All right, so if a girl pull back, I'm out. Number three, go get more options. At the end of the day, guys, all this shit I'm explaining is gonna fall to deaf ears. And this is what happens to a lot of you guys. You guys love hearing me talk. I know I'm handsome. I know I speak good. But bro, take the advice I'm fucking giving you and use it. A lot of you guys, you like just hearing information. You have analysis paralysis. You watch the videos, you get the information, everything is presented to you and you don't do shit about it. Everything I'm telling you, you still have to go out there and make yourself a man that women want. It's inevitable. You have to. If you don't have options, all of this shit is just theory. You got to go out there and be practical. Go out there and get more women. Go out there and make yourself a catch. So you don't, when when you do deal with a pullback, you don't even realize it. Oh shit, you pull back? Oh, when you do that? Oh, my bad. I didn't realize you fucking pulled back. I don't give a damn. 
You must pull back my ass. Pull back on me if you want to. By the time you pull back and came back, I wouldn't even realize you pulled back. The kind of abundance you need is for when a girl pull back, you don't even realize it. Oh shit, I didn't know you pulled back. Oh, you're upset at me? I didn't even know. Oh, damn, I didn't even realize. My fault. Pull, oh my bad. That's how much abundance you got. I got so many girls that I can hit up, hang out with. You fuck around and pull back. I forgot. Oh yeah, you, you, you. Oh, you pulled, oh, you pulled back a couple weeks ago? Oh shit. Oh, I thought you might've found a boyfriend or something. Oh, oh, welcome back. Welcome back to the team. Options is the holy grail, guys. All right, it's gonna be hard to act unbothered when you ain't got no pussy in, in six months. It's gonna be hard, bro, to withdraw your attention when it's the first girl that's just giving you some attention in your year. You can't fake this shit, bro. Go out there and get you some options, man. Go make it a priority. I tell my students, the same tenacity that you have with business and your career, you need to have with women. I keep telling you guys about real rawness, and that's something I preach in my mentorship so much to the guys I help. Tenacity in all areas of my life. I'm not fucking slacking. Think it's a fucking game. I'm gonna constantly be improving myself, putting myself out there so I can choose who I wanna be with. And if a girl does pull back, no problem. I probably forgot you pulled back. I probably forgot you pulled back. Number four, level the hell up, all right? In order for you to get options, you have to go and implement systems that allow you to get options. In the beginning, I explained to you how you should act, and now I'm gonna give you what to do in order to act that way. So in order for you to be able to act unbothered and withdraw your attention, right, you have to get options. In order for you to get options, you have to level the fuck up. Look at every area of your life. I want you to analyze your life. As you're watching this video, I want you to think in the back of your head. My life right now, my looks, my status, my money, my game. What would I rate these things out of 10? Be honest, bro. Be objective. What would you rate your looks? I would say, me, I'm, I'm being honest right now, me. I'm telling you me. So you can analyze and see where you stand. Me, my looks, I would say overall, I'm an eight. Handsome face, great body. I would say eight. I don't have model-like looks in terms of my face. That's what I think is, is not making me a 10. I would say eight, 8.5 in terms of overall looks mm -hmm. that's that's looks game 10 out of 10. i know how to keep and attract women very very well <laughs> i was a 9 out of 10 right there's always room for improvement right i'm a 9 out of 10 in the game status i'm a 6 out of 10. my status needs improvement i'm not there yet i only got 200k on ig 400k on youtube like it's not nothing nothing special right i i, I have a lot of work to do in the status area so I would say six out of 10 for status. Money, I got a whole lot of fucking work to do. I'm not nowhere close to where I wanna be, all right? I'm making top 1% money, but I'm that don't even count. <laughs> I'm, I'm living in Miami, you, top 1% money means a little something different compared to the world. So I got a lot of work to do there. So I would say money, I'm a seven out of 10. So I still got a lot of work to do. Which area of my life is perfect? And yeah, my game might be the highest, but Everything else plays such a big role in terms of attraction and keeping that my game alone won't make a significant difference until I'm getting the kind of girls that I want or until I'm at the level that I want. If I'm not a 10 out of 10 in all areas in my life, be honest with yourself objectively. Where do you rank? Looks, game, money, status. Where do you rank, bro? If you think you got time to be fucking around, you're kidding yourself. You're literally kidding yourself. In my opinion, if you're not making eight figures, you got you got work to do. If you're not constantly consistently being approached by girls, you got work to do. If you can't keep any beautiful girl that you want, beautiful girl, not a fucking five, you got work to do. If you're not well known all around the world to a great degree, you got work to do. And, and in terms of status, status is something that I think every man can work on today. Every man can have a personal brand because motherfuckers out here on YouTube, uh, on, on, in, in the internet, going viral for fucking anything so you can find something that you're good at to create some status gone are the days that you can't have status you gotta have everything so it, it, where do you rank on the totem pole bro how why do you why are you fucking shocked that she's pulling back when they got guys out there with higher scores on these levels it's a fucking competition motherfuckers you better motherfuckers y'all better get on it y'all better get on it y'all think it's a fucking game you guys always think competition doesn't exist motherfucker you are competing Every other man watching this damn video wants exactly what the fuck you want. All the money, status, the girls, the fame, he wants exactly that. Think it's a fucking game. Think you don't have to compete if you want to. Keep remaining average 
your bloodline won't reproduce. I promise you. What is happening in the current dating market is survival of the fittest. In the world, seven figures to the new six figures. Six figures don't mean shit. You, 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 you got a lot of work. Six figures in my ass. You better get up to it. Man, you better. You ain't handsome. You ain't good looking. They got motherfuckers that look better than you. They're taking your girl. You don't got no status. They got guys with status. You, bro, it's a competition. So they got, they got two groups of men. Men who accept defeat and men who do whatever it takes. I'm a motherfucker that's going to do whatever the fuck it takes. I'm trying to encourage you guys to do whatever it takes. Because I'm telling you, these girls are not going to stop pulling back. They won't. They won't. They don't give a damn. I seen on Instagram the other day, Chris Brown DMing girls, random chicks. Drake DMing random girls. I'm like, man. If Chris Brown and Drake are DMing regular chicks because the chicks look good, which girl is left for us? Which girl? The dudes at the top of the top of the totem pole, they want the regular chicks. Why? Because men, we want to get results as easy as possible. He, these motherfuckers, these dudes at the top, they ain't making videos trying to teach you game. They getting their money up, their status up, and they taking your fucking girl. You better get on it. If you look at your looks, your game, your status, and your money, and you ain't at least a eight in all areas, objectively, you got a lot of work to do. Because it, it, the game is not getting easier. So you either accept the fee or you get to fucking work. That's it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll get back with you guys next time.